Shortly after the sounding of the dismissal bell at the Cicero Secondary School on Monday, 5th February, a student bearing a cutlass and a knife walked up to another to settle a score. The attack created mass panic at the school with some students darting to safety while a few brave souls sought to intervene to stop the attack. This happened right next to the principal's office. The aunt of one of the two injured students says her nephew was hurt in his effort to stop the fight. The incident that happened yesterday at the school, I'm very disappointed of it and I seen the the one of the boys, not, not he that was in the fight and thing now, but he went and separate and he got he got cut in his hand, which is my that's my nephew. And the way the matter happened yesterday and I hear about it, I was I'm very disappointed. News Force caught up with one of the parents who wants answers from the school authorities. Nobody could have at least go, at least a male, I'm saying if the female are scared, one male teacher couldn't at least go and involve to stop it. That it do and it's right right in front of the principal office, so I don't understand how it escalated so far to the boy being he he's hurt really, really bad. You understand, and I feel for that student. I have a son coming here, and then he practically tried to get involved in it. So I came here today to find that to get clarification as to what happened, what transpired. Because I don't only want to hear from my son, I want to hear from the teachers, I want to hear from the other students what happened. So that's why I'm here today. I just want answers. At least I know the teachers are scared. I will keep on repeating that. But at the end of the day, we have to help. The aunt of one of the students injured in the cutlass and knife attack wants security at the school to be tightened. This, she suggests, should include searches of students upon entering the school compound. And I was talking to the security there a while ago. I said, why are you not searching the children? before the children enter the school. So he's telling me they cannot do that. The ministry have to give them the okay and them kind of thing. I say, what? The ministry have to give you all the okay? When you all know what them kind of things are happening. Oh, you all have a right to separate, um, search the children when the children enter the school. Because look yesterday, that incident that happened there, where you get, where that cutlass come out. A uh, big cutlass on the school compound. Though incidents such as Monday's cutlass and knife attack at the Cicero Secondary are rare, questions are being asked about how they could be avoided and what should the response by teachers and staff members be in such cases. The issue of school security has been placed high on the agenda of the St. Lucia Teachers Union, which called for it to be made a top priority. The Ministry of Education has appointed a consultant for school security in the person of former Commissioner of Police, Osbert Regis. Efforts by News Force to reach both the school and the Ministry of Education were fruitless. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.